How do you create a minimal feminine logo such as these ones for free in Canva? Let me show you. Hi, I'm Lydia and on this channel we talk about social media marketing and all things business growth. So if you're interested in that, make sure to click the subscribe button below. So the first thing you need to do when you want to create a free logo in Canva that is minimal, feminine, perfect for bloggers, entrepreneurs and online shops, it is to think of your brand and of your target audience, what your audience would enjoy or click on when it comes to logo. So you need to think about, is it for your blog, is it for your online store, what are you selling in your online store if it is for that, is it for your website as a coach, as a service provider, you really need to keep these things in mind and think of your audience and what they would be attracted to when it comes to logos. So thinking of all these things beforehand will help you get a feel of what you're going for, the feel of the logo, the branding and style and everything else. So think about it, is it colorful, is it neutral? Is it black and white? You don't want to use colors in your logo. Do you prefer logos with a lot of text or little text or even just a few letters? Do you want to use a lot of graphics or images? All of these are great options, but you need to decide. You cannot have a logo having all of these because that would be too much. So decide on a few that you enjoy and then we'll go ahead to the next step. The second thing you can do when creating your logo is get inspired by other logos. That doesn't mean getting a logo, copying the exact same thing. I mean get inspired. Go on Pinterest, go on your favorite bloggers websites, go on your favorite online shop websites and look at their logos. What do they have in common that you really enjoy about those websites or that made you click on those websites or on those logos when you saw them. So see how other minimal logos are looking for other brands in your niche. So look at your niche and what your target audience would enjoy. Study those logos, save them in a folder and look at them and see how would you want yours to look. Do you enjoy the kind of feel of a logo that has letters? Do you maybe prefer a longer word or more words? Think about those things. Would you want to have circles? Would you want your logo to be more square? Would you want it to have watercolor elements in it? So save a few ideas in a folder and keep them as inspiration. Now if you want a unique logo, you can start with different elements by getting inspired, but do not copy exact templates. For example, even in Canva, you have a bunch of templates, free and pro version, that will help you create a perfect perfect logo for your business. But I do not recommend just getting a template, putting in your colors, your text, and that's it. No, if you want a unique logo, because everybody will be using Canva templates, right? They're there for everybody to use and you want your logo to be unique. I don't recommend using those templates exactly the way they are, but mix elements from other templates as well. You can also find a bunch of templates from Creative Market. They're amazing templates for feminine, minimal logos, and they're at a really good price. So you can check them out. Even if you just want to check them out for inspiration, the links are down below. After choosing a few templates or after choosing the general design idea that you want for your logo, you need to upload your brand colors and your fonts in Canva. You can do so by going to branding, selecting your brand colors and your fonts for your brand pack in Canva. You can do this in the pro version. So if you don't have the pro version and want to get a free trial, check out the link in the description to get a free trial for Canva Pro. But you can also just copy the codes of the colors and remember the fonts that you want to use in Canva. But if you want to upload your own font, you will need Canva Pro for that. But again, you can always get a free trial and create your logo like that. And now comes the time to actually create your logo. So what I suggest is creating different variations for your logos. Not only you may need that for different digital products in the future or different projects you might have, but it is always good to try different logo ideas before fixing on one and choosing one. Try and see how it looks with a more square image, how it looks with another graphic, how it looks with another font. Try different ideas and then select the one you enjoy best when you see them all side by side. So if you want to use letters, type in your letters first and then add graphics and try and mix them up and see how you like them best. If you want to use use words just type in the word and then have it be there throughout your design process so you can know where you need to put it. Here are a few logo design tips that you need to try in Canva. So the first one is use different Canva templates for inspiration and steal elements from different Canva templates. For example, remove text from a Canva template and add a graphic instead to change it and make it unique. Another tip is using text effects, so shadows and also curve options. So you can curve your 
text however much you like to create a unique circle logo so that will help you change the text format and look better use canvas logo tricks for your own template for example take a look at this logo right here i had no idea that that thing behind was a circle and then they added these rectangles in a certain way to create that logo so that's a trick that i didn't know for logo design but that you found out right now so use their logo templates as inspiration for different tricks for creating logos and try instill some of those ideas for your own logo and try different tactics when creating your own logo if you want a minimal logo look for graphic elements in the free version of canva or in the pro version if you're using that and here are a few keywords that you can try you can search for neutral minimal boho line art these are all amazing keywords to find minimal graphics for your logo from canva to create a great logo for minimal logos that include watercolor elements here are some keywords that you can search for in canva watercolor flowers watercolor elements paint splash pink for more feminine logos or you can also find the best watercolor elements in creative market and i have a few of my recommendations in the description below now here are some logos that i managed to create in around 20 30 minutes by using these tips that i just gave you one other recommendation that i have for you after you're done creating your logo is also creating different logo variations with your brand colors as well and brand fonts and also creating a brand style guide or mood board for your business in which you can have all the elements of your business branding as a reference so you can always look up to that and see what your business is all about when creating social media templates website graphics and anything else you might want to create i have a free branding mood board that you can download by using the link in the description it looks like this and you can add all your logos colors fonts elements graphics images and all that and it can help you create that brand style guide for your business so you can download it right now using the link in the description so again creating a logo for your blogging or online store business doesn't have to be so hard you can do so for free in canva using the tricks that i just showed you if you've created your logo let me know in the comments below where i can find it and take a look at it i share unique tutorials on growing your online business with social media and branding your business and everything else related to business growth every monday wednesday and friday on this channel so if you're interested in that make sure to click the subscribe button you can also follow me on instagram at leader incoming success where i show a lot more knowledge on growing online so you might want to follow me there as well thank you so much for being here and i will see you in my next video